Long story short, I got robbed. It was Monday. I was walking down the street and looking down. Not because I was too shy. I was actually looking for the key to my apartment I'd lost before. This week I've lost it three times already. Honestly, I always lose different things. One time I lost my phone. Then I lost my wallet. After that, I lost my consciousness. Finally, I found my key. Just as expected, it was in plain sight. In a thick forest under a huge pile of leaves 25 miles from home. Good thing that I found it. Otherwise, I would lose my temper. I came back home. I'm done. There must be something. Sewing my pocket up can be a good idea. Or making 7 billion copies and give them out to everyone who's outside. What if I said fingerprint access system? No way. If I I always lose everything, I can easily lose my fingers too. I got it. I'll just attach a tag with the address of my apartment to the key. And if someone finds it, they will return it to the right place. I bought a tag, printed my address and time when I'm usually home. I placed it in the tag and attached it to the key. Then I decided to check how it worked. I lost my key on the street on purpose and came back home. Half an hour later, I got it back. Great. I don't have to worry about this problem anymore. The next day, I went about my business. Well, my business was to sit on a bench and watch the outward things. A couple of hours later, I came back home. As I got to my apartment, I realized that firstly, I didn't have the key in my pocket. Secondly, the door to my apartment was slightly open. And thirdly, the man who just got off the elevator downstairs was carrying the TV just like mine. At that exact moment, it all came together. Base accurate, but came together. I threw the door open, ran inside and realized that my couch with cushions, my drawer with TV, my microwave with waves, a table and other small things all had been stolen. I ran into the second room. My computer, computer desk and nightstand had disappeared. I ran to the third room. Oh no, the whole room had been stolen. And then I remembered that I had only two rooms in my flat. It hurt even more. I hung my jacket on a coat rack, went to the first room and sat down on the cut on the floor. How did that happen? I just attached my address to the key and the time when I'm not home. And the word for the dumbest decision ever goes to Ron. Congrats. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Damn, what do I do now? I need to come to my senses and have some coffee. All dishes had been stolen. I put the rest of the coffee in my hand, filled it with warm tap water, started drinking, licking, sipping it through a straw. I washed my hands. I got to invite Steve so that he could help me work things out. Well, he'd been laughing at me for half an hour. We drank the rest of the rest of coffee and started to think of where could we find all my things. Steve offered to go outside and try to find robbers hot on the trail. Hot because my heater was nicked too. I said that we couldn't leave the apartment and close the door because we didn't have keys. That's why even things that are bolted down can be stolen. We decided to call the police. And now the police have been laughing at me for half an hour. They asked us to make a list of stolen things. And in the evening, a police officer would come to us and draw up a report. Steve brought a pen and a piece of paper. I began to dictate and he began to write it down. Two laces had been stolen. Two insoles. Two outsoles and two tongues. Steve clarified it. Had your sneakers been stolen? That's right. He asked for more precise language. We wrote down a list of all missing things. And additionally, some of ones I'd never had. Because how would they check that? A policeman arrived. He took my fingerprints. Steve's fingerprints. His own fingerprints. He was a weird policeman. He drew up a report. Picked up his papers and went to the police station. Great. I hope that in 15 minutes I'll get all my things back. Steve said it didn't work like that and we had to wait at least 20 minutes. 30 minutes passed and 30 minutes more. I decided to call the police again and find out how our search works going. But I couldn't find my cell phone anywhere. I asked Steve for his cell phone. He couldn't find it either. Other than that, my wallet, cat litter tray and Steve's tooth disappeared. Someone knocked the door. We opened it. There was another police officer who said that he wanted to get the list and draw up a report. Wait, who was that man then? We told him about what happened. So now he'd been laughing at us for a half an hour. Long story short, I got robbed. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like this video. We really appreciate that. Watch the previous videos on the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll wait for you again.